What's going on guys? Welcome back to the One Man Startup. So those of you that have been following along, you might have noticed that we haven't had a video in about three weeks now. So the reason for that is I actually have just been going through a move. So I haven't really had a ton of time to build this app, work on the app, make these videos. But I'm pretty much settled into my new apartment now and ready to kind of get back to work with all of this and finish the project out. Now, there's a few things I wanna talk about in this video. This video, I'm actually not going to be doing any code. I'm just gonna kind of go over a few different topics that kind of come up, I think, in every programmer's slash uh, you know, startup, especially if you're doing this by yourself, kind of like problems you'll run into and kind of ways you can manage those problems or solve them before they become too much of, a, of an actual problem. One of them, which kind of just happened to me, is is timing and pretty much setting aside time to work as well as you know staying motivated to work so one thing that i'll recommend is a book by stephen pressfield called the war of art and in that book he talks a lot about you know just crap like owning your craft and your art your uh you know using your he calls it the muse and like getting in touch with the muse but if i were to summarize that book into kind of like one core topic it would be it would be just you know sit down and do the work so, so that means like set aside you know an hour a day and just put an hour a day and that's a that's at minimum put an hour a day to you know I'm going to work on my app. I'm going to be working on my app between, you know, 7 a.m. and 8 p.m. or 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. or, you know, whatever hour a day you can put aside to it, just make it a routine and that and that time you'll know is like, oh, this is the time when I'm working on my app. Now, an hour is better than nothing. That's the point, you know. You don't want to obviously if you can do more time, do more time, but an hour is better than nothing. So, I would definitely recommend checking out that book though. Um, I'll put a link down below to to Amazon where you could get the book. It's pretty cheap, like $15. But yeah, I would definitely recommend reading that. There's a lot of great information in it. Now, in terms of staying motivated, motivation to code can get a little bit, you know, you can get kind of bogged down by by all of the, you know, tasks that you have to do in a project. So with our app, for instance, there's we've gotten a good bit of work done with it, but there's still a lot of work left to do, right? There's still I mean, the app is nowhere near where we want it to be. So one thing I like to do is create a Trello board, and this is a free tool that you could use. Uh, if you've never heard of it, it's, it's just kind of a way to organize your tasks. So this is a very simple version of it. You can make it a bit, you can make it as, you know, customized as you want, but pretty much I just have a list of, you know, tasks to do over here. And then in the middle, it's kind of the task that I'm working on. And then when they're done, I just move them over there. Now within a task, and I'll show you this one because it's kind of, this one's already done. I already have kind of completed this task of authenticating a user. And you can see, I, I normally just add a checklist and break down a task into, you know, more manageable steps. So, you know, each of these ended up becoming a video more or less. So building the sign up with building the sign in and intro page, so that would be like the layout page. And then signing in with email and password. That's another. That was another video. So all of these ended up becoming videos. Obviously, if you're not doing videos along with it, your task will go a lot quicker. So. Initially, I underestimated how much more work it would be to make the videos and put it all on YouTube and edit it and all of that. But it's not really. I'm not really complaining. I'm just saying that's kind of why my my initial one month estimate is severely off. But but yeah, I would definitely recommend using this. Right here is what I'm kind of thinking the path of the of the next videos will go. So the next thing will be building out the budget page and 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 the budget breakdown page. And if you remember, that's going to be these pages right here, the budget page where you just enter the budget and the budget breakdown right here where you could enter um, smaller amounts of a budget and it'll calculate your budget for you. Now, initially back in one video, I said I wasn't really gonna go over building out those individual pages, but I kind of changed my mind on that because it seems like based on the views of the, of the videos that are on the channel now, people do enjoy, or people do like watching the, the, 
the building the layout videos. So I'm not going, I'm going to try and make them different and kind of only show the different pieces of it. But let me know if that is something you do want to see or don't want to see, or if there's videos specifically that you do want to see. Um, and I'll try and work those in. I know a couple of people have mentioned different topics and I am going to try and work those in towards the end. But another thing that you need to keep in mind is kind of staying on track, right? So staying focused on your goal. And here's a good example. One person left a comment about integrating a, uh, a flight tracking API, which uh, is a great idea, but it's not actually what the it's not actually what this app is going to be right now in its first version. So, as an, this is just an example, if I were to go and spend my time integrating that you know API into the project, it would kind of take away from the the real goal of the project, which is you know just the travel budget app, and that's something you should also that kind of thought process is something you should keep in mind when you are building out your app, because you don't want you don't want to spend a lot of time on something that isn't really going to get you to that end goal. So that, that being said, you have to set that end goal for your app. You know, you need to know what you want the app to look like. And that comes in with the planning, which we've already more or less done, but don't get too sidetracked when you come up, when you see a new, you know, a new feature that you might want to add or a new thing that looks really, really cool. Kind of try and and that's where Trello could come in nicely as well. Kind of try and put that, you know, on the list, put it on the list of things to do, but focus on that main core concept of the app and then get that core concept done. And then obviously build on that and make those new features, add those new features in, and that'll make the app just much, much better. A couple other quick things I'll talk about is, you know, the timeline and setting kind of a date and kind of setting, you know, setting like goals in terms of time. So for instance, with this Trello board, I would like to have these done, you know, two, I, I ideally am going to try and strive for, you know, two videos a week, which would mean like two of these topics a week will be done um, or more, ideally more, but that's kind of like my minimum goal. And if I could do that, then, you know, that's, that's, you want to set reasonable but ambitious goals. So you want your goal to be attainable, obviously, like two a week is definitely attainable. But it's also, you know, it will be a good bit of work still, you know? So definitely set goals like that. I, I personally like to set goals that, that are, you know, a reach, they're a reach goal. So, you know, if, if my goal is to make, okay, just make one video a week, make one, you know, work on the app once a week type thing. That's a, that's an easier goal. Like I, I feel like that's easier to do. Two a week is a little bit harder. It's gonna be a little bit more, a little bit more work. Um, now obviously doing even more would be better and an ambitious goal is good because if you have an ambitious goal and you fall short, you probably still got a lot of work done. So that's a good way to look at it. If you, if you look at it like that, but other people like to, you know, work the other way around where it's kind of like, okay, I'm just gonna, my goal is just to do one thing a week. I want to get one thing done. And if I could do that, that's great. And that's fine. If that's you do that as well. That's basically going to be it for this video, but I did want to just you know, kind of put another video out there. This is me kind of taking a step, sitting back down, getting back into it. So if you also have been working on a project for some time and you maybe took some time off and, and you know, that's fine, that needs to happen. And, you know, you need to take breaks during things like, especially things like this where it's, you know, where this is not your main focus in a way, like this is more or less a side. I would assume that a lot of people building out their app by themselves, this is like a side project. So you definitely need to take some time, you know, recuperate from your side project, get your ideas back together, but definitely always come back to it, sit down, just do something, get some work done, right? So this is me getting one video out there and granted this is an easier one, but I still think it will give some value to people. Um, so yeah, let me know down in the comments if there's anything specifically that you want, that you would like to see in the videos. Um, keep it in mind that it, that I do want it to be in that direction of that end goal. But yeah, great. So that's going to be it for today. Thank you for watching and following along. I think right now we're at about like 400 subscribers, which is honestly unbelievable to me. I, I'm shocked that it's gone that, that it's grown this fast, this quickly. If you aren't a subscriber, consider subscribing uh, to follow along the process. And I'm definitely going to finish out this app at some point. All right, that's going to be a chat for now.